All right, it's June 1st, 2011. We're leaving out of Dockside Bait and Tackle. We just got a report. Somebody catching relatively about 60 or 70 trout on the north end of the track. As you can see, that the water is still being somewhat affected by the spillway. We still got a little bit of stain to it, but it still got a lot of pretty green water out here. So we're getting ready to head on out. Uh, me, Captain um, Chaz, and Silas. So we're gonna go on head out and see if we can find a good bite today. As you can see, we're still catching fish in the lake. Plenty of trout, they're in close on the north shore. Plenty of fish still here. The water's clean and the water's good. All right, as you can see, this is a June article, June 1st, uh, 2011. We're out here out on the lake. You just seen the catch that Terry just had. I mean, the fish are still biting out here on the lake on the, um, the north end, uh, between Car Drive and Highway 11 in that area. Um, the fish are here, you just got to go to know, you know, once you find those fish in that concentrated area like we're fishing here today, they'll just be stacked up in this area. You're just going to have to fish them out, bottom line. As you can see, Terry's out there catching them on plastic on the new prototype we got coming out out of Dockside Bait and Tackle. But we're still catching quality trout out here on shrimp. As it's it's, it's going to be tough. Caught you going. Alright. Rail them in. Not until it. Hook is set. Feels like a smaller one. Yep. A little bit smaller, but still plenty of action. Yep. The 13, 14 inch fish right here. We're just fishing live shrimp. Under, about seven foot under a slot and cork. And everybody else is using a Carolina rig. To be honest with you, it really don't matter right now. Fish is pretty good today, you know. We found some green water. As soon as the bait hits, gets down close to the bottom, it's going under. Plenty, plenty of trout biting today. It's the best day we had in a couple of weeks. Got him, boy. Shoot him, son. Got him. All right, look at that. Nice trout off the north side of the truss. Like a good one. Nice one here. Big old sheep head. Big old sheep head. More than trout out here. Nice size sheep head. On the north side of the trusses. You got more than trout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on with him, Silas. Come on, get him in. Come on, get it here. All right, good trout. Now, as you can see, the fish are all shapes and sizes. I got a little throwback here. Silas just caught one, about two and a half pounds. There's 19 inch fish. This one's about a 10 inch fish. Let this one go. So he gets bigger to that size. I tell you what, guys, you, if you can find the green water, there's still plenty of fish stacked up in it. Right now, it's just right here on the north end, right outside of where the old tights used to be. Didn't even need a Didn't even need a Might be pretty deep. Baby! Yeah. I take him. Hold on, now get that. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Now the lake must be pretty decent if yeah. we just caught three fish in a row, three back to back, all right, to back. So the, the lake got to be pretty decent, you know. Like I said, it's not catch, you're not going out there and slaughtering maybe like you were catching them a couple of weeks before before the spill came in. But if you're looking for something to eat, if you're looking to take your, your kids out, your family out, 
All you need to stop right over here and catch all the fish you want. Yeehaw, look at it. Come on over to the northern end of the uh, shoreline. We're throwing top waters right here in front of Lake Shore States. This is a place where you always got a shot at a really big fish, like we said before. Time on there. We're fishing the northern ends, holding the cleaner water, so we can get away with fishing this northern end here. Oh, pretty nice one there. This fish right here came off of a Zara Spook Jr. We're just walking a dog right here in front of the rocks. And you don't catch many here, but the ones you're gonna catch are very quality fish such as this one here. Beautiful fish. Like we said before, you can get away with fishing the north end of the lake still. They still got a few lunkers hanging around. Well, Chris, I'm glad we came out here and found some clean water. You know, we boxed 25 trout. It made me very happy to see that the trout are still here. You know, we're still catching them. Well, the, the bottom line is there's still some fish to be caught out here on the lake. All right, I mean, you just have to find that pocket of green water out here in the lake. And, and right now, it's on the north side of the lake. Don't get me wrong. We're not going out here every day and killing them like we were a couple of weeks ago. And if anybody tells you that, they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. But you can, there are some quality fish out here that can be caught on any given day, especially a day like today, where you got it five to 10, river light wind, you can get over here on the north side of the lake and pick up some trout. So come on down to Dockside Bait and Tackle, pick up some live shrimp, we still got a whole bunch of them left, you know, and get out here and we're gonna point you in the right direction. See if you can go, go fill up the cooler with a box of trout. Glad we found some nice trout in this clean water on the north side of the lake. We boxed 25 trout, it made me happy, so come on out of here and catch some fish. They're still here, you know? I think what the uh, bottom line is, is, if you can get on the north side of the lake and find some green water, um, you know, there's, there's some fish to be caught. Now don't get me wrong, like I said, this is, this is not gonna happen every day. I mean, there's a lot of river water out here, but there are still some fish to be caught. You know, so, I mean, if you want to come out and catch some fish, your best bet is to hit the north side of the lake, find the green, saltier water that hasn't mixed too much, and, and, and box a mess of fish. I mean, we were out here, we got out here about 5 o'clock, you know. I just thought of it. So, you <laughs> one, two. Well, I'm glad we found some clean salt water. We came out here today. We are uh, fishing the north side of the lake. We boxed 25 trout. It made me very happy to see that we can still have got the trout out here. I think, I think the bigger picture is there's still fish to be caught out here. I mean, you can find clean water, but it's on the north side of the lake that's being trapped in a little pocket. I mean, it's not the cleanest water in the world, but the water out here is pretty green. It's the saltiest uh, water you're gonna find on this part of the lake. And it's actually holding some fish. Uh, we boxed about 25 trout, um, and they're actually pretty decent trout, some of them. Um, and we caught them on the, you know, the north end of the trussle, uh, in front of Lakeshore Estates, so forth and so on. I mean, it's a matter of just bouncing around, finding the clean water, and once you get on a good mess of fish or get on a good bite, there's probably, probably going to be a lot of fish stacked up in the area. So I, my advice is, you know, pick a day like today where the wind's 5 to 10, barely blowing, you know, 
go find the clean water and go find the fish. Right, and don't get us wrong, guys. We're not coming out here loading a box down every day. We've had, we have had some days where we're coming back with only four or five fish struggling. But for the most part, as long as we got green water on the north end, most of our days we're coming out catching anywhere from 10 to 30 fish and making a decent catch. We're only burning a couple gallons of gas. So come see us at Dockside. We still got plenty of live shrimp. Check out our website at www.docksidela.com or give us a call at 985-707-9049. Wouldn't that be something if you messed the number up? I did. <laughs>